Thank you. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, gives me pleasure to be here uh, this morning as uh, I'm a former fellow of uh, MEPI and I'm also a current fellow of NACHA, so I'm closely affiliated with, uh, with uh, Thrive. Uh, my talk this morning is intellectual property protection and uh, looking at uh, reflections uh, of the strength, weaknesses, opportunities and uh, threats at Makerele. Uh, I would like to start the talk with uh, some few definitions. Uh, what is IP? What is intellectual property? Uh, IP literally refers to intangible property that uh, is a result of uh, creativity. And by creativity, we mean uh, several things, including inventions, designs, and names and images that are used in commerce. There are essentially four types of uh, IP. Uh, and uh, this picture literally shows you some of them. When we talk about IP protection, what exactly do we mean? Uh, we mean granting ownership rights uh, or exclusive rights uh, to the part of the inventor uh, or the, 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 the creator. <coughs> uh, the primary reasons why we do intellectual property uh, uh, protection is to protect against theft, piracy, and uh, possible misuse. But there are secondary reasons why we do that. Some of these uh, in include in acting as an incentive uh, in regard to benefits that may accrue uh, from the further development of uh, the IP. What is involved in uh, protecting uh, intellectual property? Ideally, you, the, the inventor needs to have a good conception of uh, what their innovation is or uh, IP is, and that involves drive, drafting claims. And the drafts, the claims need to be quite clear. Uh, filing the claims with an, I, uh, an IP body in Uganda, we are lucky we have the Uganda Registration Service Bureau which is the starting point for filing a patent in Uganda. Uh, subsequently, it moves on to the African Regional Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO. There are other <coughs> uh, patent offices elsewhere, including the European Patent Office, the US Patent Office. And ideally, you have to pay uh, some money. A lot of people think that uh, IP protection uh, is uh, essentially trying to hold on to uh, the innovation and uh, saying, oh, this is mine, you shouldn't touch it. But in essence, actually, IP protection enables free sharing and uh, uh, licensure to other developers of the, of the intellectual property. So IP protection is, uh, is not necessarily uh, something to do with uh, holding on to. It's enabling free dissemination use uh, by other people. Makerere University is the Uganda's oldest university, perhaps the leading R&D uh, university. Uh, the first IP policy was approved uh, by the University Council in March 2008. Uh, you can imagine uh, this is quite uh, been long, but uh, I think finally we are there. It's about 10 years ago. The policy at McKinley essentially aims to promote and support innovative ideas, uh, support the management of IP, enhance knowledge transfers, and promote economic activities arising from innovation. 
uh, I will, the diversity of what really IP is is quite extreme that sometimes uh, it's uh, impossible. I think every other day, sometimes we wake up and maybe the way we yawn is, is quite so unique in the morning that it could be patented. Um, McKinley has several strengths. Uh, these are some of the strengths that I, I will highlight. McKinley is uh, a force to record in terms of its historical contributions to medical uh, uh, medical, uh, medical discoveries. Uh, for example, if you applied for an NIH grant at, from using McKinley, one of the things that you're sure will not be questioned is uh, the institutional uh, facilities and capabilities. Uh, we have a critical mass of illuminated uh, human resource. McKinley is a hub of several very well networked projects and laboratories. It's also a catchment of uh, medical problems. There is an existing IP management policy, as you've seen, and there have been pockets of uh, uh, patents and uh, other IPs that have been registered in Makere. I This picture literally tries to point me towards uh, the patent that we filed for about five years ago which involves patenting sequences within uh, both uh, Ebola and Maba uh, with the idea of developing diagnostics and vaccines and potential therapeutics. And there's been a controversy whether you can patent something that is natural. And so this gentleman is, gentleman is, is like, I am what I am, you can't patent me. But if you go to the U.S. Patent Office, you will find that uh, the sequences of the Bola von Dibujo were actually patented. They are still there in the... So, there are several weaknesses. And one of the, the biggest weaknesses is actually the absence of a framework for IP identification and nurture, which is the, in most institutions in the West is called the technology transfer office. And I think this is something that we need to work on every day. Uh, a policy is not a, a working, it's, it's, it's a, a, a working document, it's a more of a guiding document. And so for us to be able to implement the policy, we need to do things to make it function. And setting up an IP, a, tra a technology transfer office is one thing, very important. There's limited local investment, uh, I think uh, last uh, early this year we had we had arguments as to what the amount of money the university puts in R and D. Uh, it's not quite clear because uh, it's all mixed up with the donor money. We keep asking ourselves what about the local funds that should go in uh, R and D or IP development. There are myths around. Uh, the person of the innovator. Is, is there anything unique about somebody that makes, uh, well, I mean the character, the futures that make it an innovator? When uh, Einstein, Albert Einstein died, pathologists uh, called Thomas Harvey harvested his brain and uh, subsequently did a lot of studies trying to, with different teams, trying to understand w whether there was a substrate for such a thing as a substrate for genius. But in 1986, a uh, mathematician called Richard Harming gave one of his best talks titled You and Your Research. And in that talk, Harming tries to define why some people do really good research and other people are not able to do. And by, by good research, Hamming 
uh, puts his standard at the Nobel Prize level. Why do some people do Nobel Prize winning? Some of the things Hamming notes in there is small things like dropping modesty in the sense that you must wake up and say, I am going to do great things. Uh, he, I mean, that is usually something that society occasionally laughs at uh, when you set out to do great things. Uh, but at the end of the day, the only way to start is you must drop modest. Of course, this uh, Hamming stock has been condensed in a small series of uh, 10 simple rules for doing your best research, published in close computational biology. The opportunities that I see available for IP uh, development and uh, in, at Macquarie are the problems. We have literally all the problems in Africa. And the problems are the opportunities. Across all the sustainable development goals, I think we have opportunities to come up with solutions that will end up uh, into IPs. The social structuring of African communities begs for a series of innovations to fill gaps that uh, for instance, when you talk about the cold chain for vaccine delivery, for instance, it's very easy in the Western world, but it becomes very difficult within our city, making sure that the vaccines remain viable as they move towards uh, the point of care. The trend of global politics and economy, knowledge-based integration, provides a lot of opportunity for uh, innovation and uh, IP development. There is a demand force that exists for IP and uh, that has been well stipulated by the UN. Some of the problems of course are not clearly defined but uh, at the end of the day those are opportunities. Of course the biggest threats remain the same as is globally piracy, theft, brain drain, in their negative perceptions about capabilities. When you develop a product in Africa, in Uganda, that product is viewed differently on the global market as a product, relative to a product that is developed in Canada or developed in Italy. So, and, and these things, I think, as, as we grow, we hope that that perception, and we globalize, we hope those perceptions will, will fade away. Before I finish, I thought about talking about how possibly could we, can we drive innovation in the 21st century. There are these skills that everybody is probably aware about, but we don't critically consider. One of the most important skills is critical thinking. And that's perhaps why, if you look at the call that the World Bank put out for the African Centers of Excellence, they are trying to emphasize post a, a, a graduate study uh, and, and uh, PhD, master and uh, level uh, uh, stud, uh, uh, studies. And, uh, the idea is that when you have scholars that are at PhD level, they are very critical thinkers. They know how to critically look at a problem and think. Whether that is real or not, I think critical thinking is something that can be taught to even the primary school student. Problem solving. We had a curriculum that was being run by maybe previously introduced by maybe problem based learning. And uh, I think that we need to find ways to make sure that uh, the people that we train are out to solve problems and they're not just out to accumulate knowledge. And they sh to do that, they need to be highly creative, but they should not stop at creativity, they should be able to enterprise. And in enterprising, they, they don't need to look just at the local market. They need to realize the world is opened up. They need to do things that compete globally. So to do this, I think, uh, one, one of the other drivers for innovation is setting up uh, technology hubs. This is a model for a technology hub. 
the, innovate, the innovator doesn't operate in isolation in order to develop uh, an IP into a product. Innovator needs to be in a setting where there is capital, there is technology support, and uh, business mentorship. I think um, I beg to stop here. I, 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 I prefer us to have more engagement than uh, me talking to you. Thank you.